welcome back to shakes youtube channel if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing uh here we learn java programming we learn microsoft office package softwares like microsoft word publisher excel powerpoint and many more we learn android application development we learn assembly language programming x86 we learn structured query language sql and databases we also provide tutorials for cloud computing and visualization please like comment share and subscribe Pre uh, previously we have uh, been looking at um, java string pool but now we want to go practical way previously we have looked at it theoretically so today we are going to open our java ide java ide so that we can go the practical way and do the development let's go let's go let's open our java ide right so what we want to do here is we just want to create a new project right let's create a new project let's call it what let's call it let's call it let's call it um java pool java string pool like that All right we click on finish All right so what are we going to do All right before we start let me just show you what you need to expect from this uh, project what you are expecting is something like this let me just run it's taking time 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 just be patient a bit All right let's just run this one so you can see what we see but it might not make sense because you might not have uh, understood the concept but if you really took the concept from the previous uh, video or previous tutorial you actually get the sense right here we are saying enter the fourth string let me just say cat the first string is cat second string is cat and then third string is s2 which is cat and then the fourth string is the one that I'm entering here. So if I say okay, the results are being shown. The S1 and S2 is true. These two are identical. So S1 and S3, S1 and S3, it's being said it's false. S1 and S4, S1 and S4, it's being said it's false. S1, now we are yeah i shouldn't have said this i must have said uh, equals yeah i must have said equals because this equals this mathematical equals means we are comparing values i mean numerical values of which you were comparing string value values right so let's go and start our new project here right let's just uh create what our strings here let's say string String S1 is equal to Shetsa. String 2. String S2 is equal to Shetsa again. Then string 3 is equal to new string then inside there we put shakes again so 
literally the these three string variables they hold the same string now we are comparing now uh j option pen dot show message dialog uh, now what do you want to say i want to say i want to compare s1 and s2 and then i say plus i need to put some space there i will now want to give a boolean value to say is it true that s1 is equal to s2 so what do i do i just say s1 equal to s2 right terminate that one and then we fix the import all right that's how we fix this is what we fit what we have fixed right so let's run and check if shakes is equal to shakes let's run right you need to be very very careful here what we are saying is is the reference value of s1 equal to the reference value of s2 so that's the value that we are expecting let's just wait for the output right so here is the output s1 is equal to s2 yes that's true okay that's fine then let's compare again let's compare s1 and s3 and s3 there which we think is just the same let's wait let's wait this time it must be a bit fast let's just wait be patient Right, the output is coming. Right here it say S1 is equal to S2. That's true. Okay. Right. S1 and S3. Okay. That's fine. So what what happened here is that uh, we are using the double quotes to create our strings. That's why we are getting uh, a true value here. So if we say uh, here, Shexa is what uh, S1. Let's just put S1 there. Since here we are not using um, double quotes, it's it it will say this is false. S1 is good. from this statement. It's telling us that S1 is now equal to S3. But if we run, it will give us it must give us a force i think the second thing is the value that we are expecting here All right s1 is goes to s2 that's true s1 is goes to s3 that's false even if we put double quotes within this uh here if we say shape sum s1 and s3 will be false let's check it let's check it let's check it um, be a bit patient be a bit patient be a bit patient here s1 and s2 that's true and then s1 and s3 that's false so using this new differentiates the creation of a uh, string from this way of creating a string so that's it uh, let me show you another program that is developed so we can say yeah 
but now if we want to compare the strings the 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 the, 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 the string values we now say uh, let me just take this string and then that uh, and then here we say equals to s3 and here instead of saying that we say dot equals ignore case we are now comparing the the, 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 the the string values not the reference values this one and s3 it must this one must give us a true value a, a true value if we comment this two let's just comment these two lines of code let's just comment that and execute it by that s1 it must be equal to s3 this must be true it must return true s1 equals to s3 true see so what is actually happening is here reference values are being retained here not the string values and here string values are being retained here not the reference values let's just pr print uh, s1 here let's just print s1 right it will give you it will retain the reference of the term shaksa and then get this string value which is shaksa right thank you very much for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment we get all these uh, these services like comment share and subscribe goodbye enjoy the rest of your day